Not necessarily, you know, we, last year I was playing with Zach, playing with Yash on um, free game. So, you know, I feel like we got that chemistry and we're building chemistry just in case things happen, you know, things do happen in the season. So, um, you know, it's been good. There's been a lot of talk about the offenses changing this year. For the linemen, do you notice anything of that or does it just feel like the same? Um, I feel like it, it feels the same, you know. Um, obviously, we are outside zone team. You know, we, we like to get the ball on the edges and things like that. So we've been basically running the same plays that we usually run. So I wouldn't say anything changed uh, significantly. It's obviously a pretty big battle at right tackle. Uh, Lafleur was asked today if because you know or does he want to make that because you have his first year quarterback. Do you want to get does he want to get that position solidified? He thinks you know we have we have time. You know, get it throughout the training camp. But just what have you seen in that uh, right tackle battle? And, it's really heating up here on day three already? Yeah, I said it is. You know, we got Zach, we got Yash, you know, both of those guys, two talented players. So, um, yeah, they going at it. They both battling, you know, taking advantage of the opportunities and the snaps that they get. So, we're, um, I'm looking forward to see how it play out in the end. How important is cross-training? Coach was telling us about that with the offensive line. He wants you guys to get familiar in multiple spots. Just how beneficial is that for you as a player and for the, the line as a whole? Yeah, just like I said, um, the se I mean, during the season, it's a long season, so you never know who you're going to go out there with um, every Sunday. So just having guys being able to play different positions um, on the offensive line, you know, it's beneficial for the team going forward. And then specifically with Zach, what have you seen from him just his growth year two? Yeah, it's been it's been good it's been good to see um, Zach playing center, Zach playing guard, tackle. You know some of the things I did earlier on in my career, just being able to see him go out there and execute and communicate the way that he do. You know, it's special. Do you like the fifty percent practices like this? Does that help you mentally, mental reps? And do you think is it more for you know more for guys like you, the vets, or what, what do you think of these kind of practices like today compared to? Yeah, um, today was a uh, above the neck day, so um, just getting those reps, it, I think it's more beneficial for the younger guys, letting things slow down and them being able to get information and things like that. So um, I feel like it was beneficial for us, well, for the vets and guys like that, just to you know lay low, lay low on our feet. So um, it's beneficial all around for the team. You talk about Zach's versatility, but how important is it for you guys to all be versatile so you guys can have the best five on the field at all times? Yeah, just like I was telling them, the season, it's a long season, so you never know what, what position you're going to play. You know, things happen, so um, just everybody being able to, you know, move around, switch, play musical chairs, you know, it's going to be key for us um, being good going forward. Basically all the same faces this year. How how much it built up is the cohesion with you guys? Oh yeah, it's great. Um, the chemistry and all that is great in the room. You know, just being able to have fun, just being able to go out there and just communicate and just play on a different level than we was last year with, you know, guys just moving into spots and things like that.